a boombox for the 21st century. Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Monster Audio Blaster 3.0 Bluetooth Boombox and I just got to start out by saying it is not comfortable to hold it like this because this thing weighs 17.4 pounds. Why? Because it has lots of battery and lots of magnets and lots of speakers because it puts out a ridiculous amount of sound. This is a 120 watt combined output giving you four 15 watt full range speakers and a 60 watt integrated bass. This is loud enough you can have it at one end of a football field up like at 80% and at the other end of that football field, whether it's NFL football or whether it's soccer, you'll still be able to hear the music. It gets that loud. It's too loud to have in your house unless you turn the volume way down, but it's really fun. Now, Bluetooth 5.1, it has an environmental EQ. I'll talk about that in a second and it's IPX5 water resistant. So if you do have this on the dock or at a picnic or an outdoor party or something, and it starts to rain or the sprinklers turn on, don't panic. This thing can handle some rain. It can handle some sprinkler water. It can handle someone splashing it at the poolside or something. No worries. Features a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, which gives you 12 hours of playback which was going to be slightly different depending on how loud you play it. it takes about six and a half hours to charge so it's an overnight charge if you run it all the way to zero and one of the things it has it has a usb a power bank in fact the two ends actually have all the controls so let me ugh, lift this up this end when you open up the flap has a couple of different ports you can see there's microphone in there's AUX in, there's a USB-A charging port, and then there's a power plug for actually charging the speaker. Put this back on, make sure it fits properly, and you're back to being waterproof. Now, oh, on the other end, this is heavy. On the other end are the buttons. Let me give you a little closer shot here. So there are mode, power and battery level, and then volume up and down. And notice on the bottom, the little tiny LEDs that show you if you're in indoor or outdoor mode. So enough talk, let's get this thing fired up. So I do have some music and I do have it paired to my iPhone. So let's get something happening here. So this is at the lowest possible volume on my phone. So let's turn it up and at some point it's just going to get super distorted because of my microphone and YouTube, but I'm just going to start turning it louder. There's a lot going on and I can feel my whole table vibrating. Now let's switch between indoor and outdoor mode. Oh. So the difference Jeez. The difference is actually fairly subtle between indoor and outdoor, but outdoor mode is a little bit brighter. There's a little bit more highs being pushed out, whereas I think indoor, they sort of tone that all down because it's a bright speaker. So there's a lot of highs. It's sort of like there's a lot of highs and there's a lot of that big, loud bass but the mid-range kind of gets a little lost in this journey. But honestly, this is not an audiophile experience, nor is it intended to be. This is take this to the beach and annoy those people like 17 blankets down because they don't really want to listen to your music, but they have to because it's so loud. <laughs> So if you have the space to be able to do this and be respectful of other people, of course, then this is super fun. My daughter plays a ton of volleyball. This is the kind of thing she could take to the gym and everyone would enjoy it during, during warmups. She tells me that the music they play now really kind of stinks. So this would then plus her playlist vastly improve the situation. So it is really fun. It gets really loud, like ridiculously loud. Like you don't want to be near it when it's that level of loud. But of course, it's Bluetooth, so you can control it from your phone or other Bluetooth source device, which means you don't have to walk up to it to adjust volume. Though, as you saw, there are buttons to do just that if that's what you want to do. 
Now, from an audio perspective, the audio reproduction's okay. As I said, it's not intended to be an audiophile experience. If you want to have something that's going to let you have quiet music in your home office or in your executive suite while you're working or having some sort of a lunch break or something, this is not your device. There are other devices in the same price range that give you much better fidelity. But if you want to go to the beach or you want to be on your boat in the middle of the lake and to heck with this fishing thing, you want to just rock out, then this is a pretty amazing device. It gets super loud. It sounds pretty darn good when it gets that loud. And that's really so much of what you want on this sort of device. Now, my biggest complaint though is power. So you get this and this is like just this old school brick, right? So this is how you charge the device. It can't take power from any other source, which I think was a design mistake. I would love to have this be able to be where I can give it an emergency top up via USB-C or something. I know it's going to be lower wattage. I know it would be slower, but it would be an alternative. As is, this is what you get to oh, carry to the beach, but you better be darn sure you have this somewhere too. And since it doesn't come with a travel case or a pocket to put it into the device, then this is just a separate thing that you're potentially going to lose. So I think that's an important thing to keep in mind when you look at this. But if you are at your house at the lake and you want to put this on the dock when you're having that afternoon party and everyone's having a great time, then it's pretty darn easy to have this in your electrical room back in your cabin and then you know where it is. So all works together comes in three colors white black and this exciting red I really like this red it's just really a fun lively sort of device um, it is big it is heavy it is 20 inches long by 11.5 by 9.8 inches so as you can see it's substantial and the biggest thing you'll notice is it is heavy 17.4 pounds means that when you see their photos of someone holding it on their shoulder they're in really good shape this is a lot of weight to put on your shoulder for a period of time so if you want to use this as that sort of prototypical 80s ghetto blaster which they have as some of their photos well, then you might need to also head to the gym at the same time to really work on those shoulder muscles. But otherwise, super fun, gets super loud, is you know really an outdoor friendly device with its IPX5 water resistance and everything. So much fun you can have with this. Definitely one worth checking out. So we do need to talk about the price. And before we get there, I'm gonna ask if you could subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. And then also don't forget to click on that little bell notification so you get um, notifications of my new content as I produce them. Always appreciate that. And if this was helpful, useful, interesting, or I don't know, controversial, then give me a like or a thumbs up. I appreciate that too. Cool. This. Oh is the Monster Blaster 3.0 Bluetooth Boombox. It is $349.99, currently minus 20% on Amazon, dropping it down to $278.43 at Amazon.com. That is a pretty hefty price tag for oh, an external speaker. But the other way to look at that is that this is probably the last one you'll ever buy because it has nice sound reproduction and it gets plenty loud enough for any size space you want to work in. That's all I got. I'm going to go back to my music, so I'll have to catch you in my next video.